Hello, Kyle at Ramcon Roofing. This is Joel from JND SEO. And we spoke briefly on the phone to your office today, and they told me to send over this video. So I'm going to show you three ways that you can beat your competition online. And I don't want to waste your time, Kyle. I don't want to waste mine. So I'm going to make this as quick as possible. At the end of the video, you want to hear more information. Let's set up a 10 minute phone call. If not, no problem. Take the tips I'm going to give you today. I just could apply them to your site. First thing I wanted to show you was actually that your site is not secure here. So that's, it, it's a little bit of a risk, but it also does hurt you um, with Google's algorithm when they're kind of ranking sites and showing up and uh, deciding kind of who shows up in what order for searches for people searching for roofing. Um, we'll talk about that in a second, but what I do want to talk about is content. So I'm on your homepage. And I'm looking for kind of the content on your site. And I am seeing, you know, you guys do have a good amount of content. Uh, I'm looking for about 1,500 words. And, you know, I would kind of say you guys probably have maybe around five, 600 words. So I would definitely recommend having even more content. First reason you want a lot of content is that it helps Google in your search kind of to rank you. They're going to go through your site and count all your words, look all your keywords. And so the more content you have or the more words you have on your page, the better. But the second and probably the more important reason is that the more content you have on your page, the more keywords we can put in that content. So just as a quick example, I've put in a roofing Tampa FL as my as what I've used for my keyword or keyword phrase search here. And this is also uh, what a new customer would put in because if they're looking for a roofing uh, service. Any Google search you do, you're going to find ads at the top, especially for the service industries. You're going to find these ads. People are essentially paying to be seen first by new clients. After that, you're going to find this map section. Top three companies are going to show up in this map section based on citations. And citations are just when you get your business name, address, and phone number listed together into a directory site, such as Yelp, Yellow Pages, Home Advisor, just to name a few. After that, we're going to get to our organic section. This is where the companies start to show up with their websites. And, you know, these don't show up randomly. They all show up based on Google's algorithm or formula. And those are all in relation to what the keyword search that we put in, such as roofing Tampa FL. So if we were ranking this keyword, we would actually say number one goes to Westfall. Number two goes to Dynasty Building Solutions. Three goes to Yelp, which is a directory. Four goes to Better Business Bureau, also a directory. 10 results show up per page. I want you to remember that because we're going to go over that here in a second. Next up, I've taken your website, ramconroofing.com, and put it into a program I use called Aris. And I do see that you guys have a header on your page. That's really good. That actually allows Google to help find you and make sure it a little easier to find for them when they're doing searches. And then I want to dig into the numbers a little bit. So. Think of the internet as a popularity contest. Whoever has the most votes is going to get the most attention, most views, and so on. For websites, obviously, we're focusing on visitors and viewers. So what we're looking for here, and what you guys actually have, is 119 referring domains. These are just websites online that have links on them, and those links send people to your page for these links anyway. So the 119 referring domains or websites that you guys have links on, I actually sending you back over 1,800 links to your page. You guys have, you have a good amount of links per kind of domain or website here. Next up, we have almost 700 keywords, 699. And these are what really drive the traffic to your site. And these are like, this is like an example of what I put in when I put in Roofing Tampa FL. So these almost 700 keywords are bringing you 137 visitors to your site per month. This is actually on a monthly basis. So what I want to do next is just quickly search these keywords and let's just kind of see where your traffic's coming from right now. First up, we see your business name. Anyone who searches your business name, it means they know who you are. Some of it's going to be your repeat customers, referrals. Some of it's going to be people who saw your trucks or signs out working on a job. Maybe a neighbor told them Ramcon did my roof and they looked up, looked you up in Google to find your contact info. Let's look at the first one, Ramcon Roofing. 70 people search this every single month and you guys are in the first position. So you're going to get most of that traffic or probably close to half of it, right? Um, and then you, you do have that for most of these. Um, you're at number one for your own name, which is really good. But then we also want to bring in new customers, right? So let's see if we can find a couple. Uh, let's see, new. 
All right, what I'm going to do here, so I'm not seeing exactly what I'm looking for. You know, I want to go to Westfall. They're one of your competitors, so I'm going to plug them into Eris as well. They have a lot of keywords in their header. Um, you don't necessarily need that many, but they do have their name, and a couple is fine. It will help you um, to get found. They have 162 referring domains, sending them back about 1,000 links to their page, and they have about 1,600 keywords that they can be found for. And that's driving almost 2,400 people to their site per month. So let's just take a quick look at their keywords. For them, what we should find is we're going to find their name, Westfall Roofing here, and 450 people do search that every month, and the number one for that. But here's here's what I'm looking for when I put in, um, not so much this one. I mean, it's not a bad one, but it's a national term near me, even though it does apply everywhere. But you can see the volume, 21,000, and it's because everyone searches that in any town anywhere, right? And so they are number nine for that one. But what we want to search is these ones, right? Roofing Tampa. It's a location you service and a service you offer. 300 people do search it. They're number one. So that's a really good one. Roofing Tampa FL, like what we searched. 200 people did put that in and they're number one. These two here aren't as valuable because it's just really questions. But Tampa Roofers, that's a good one. 90 people, number one. Tampa Roofing Companies, 300, number four. So this is where they start to slip a little bit. In the top five, still good. There's 10 results per page. Just remember that. So you ideally want to be in the top 10 for every keyword, really, that you could be found in. All right, guys, that's just a little bit about content backlink citations. It looks like most of your um, traffic is actually coming from your own name, and that's really where you're seeing it. You're not bringing in too many new customer type keywords, and that's where you really could expand there and obviously bring in a lot more. Thank you guys for your time. Like I told you at the beginning, if you, if you want to talk a little more, 10 minutes. If not, no problem. Take tips I gave you. Only thing I do ask for all these free tips, just a little feedback. I'm just going to call you and ask you tomorrow, what did you think of the video? And all I really want to know is what you guys thought. Thank you guys for your time. I do appreciate it and have a good one.